what could possibly go right? <laughs> we could remember that we are nature and that we could release the lonely myth of um, human exceptionalism. Let's let that go. We could release um, the myth that was just a misreading of Darwin, just a misreading of science, that we are born to compete, mm. that we survive by competition. Competition is part of the natural world for sure, but it is by far, cooperation and collaboration is by far the strategy that almost every organism is involved in some sort of mutualism in its life, sometimes hundreds of mutualisms throughout its yes. life. What is the best oh. piece of advice you've ever received? It actually wasn't spoken to me, but I have pulled this out. And it was it's from Rachel Carson, who is my total hero. She brought poetry into writing and she allowed me to do that. In fact, she said, you have to be, you have to write ecstatically if your subject is, is ecstatic, right? As ecstatic as the earth is. She taught me to be fierce. And by fierce, I mean, she overcame her timidity to do that which is necessary. What does it mean to join the biomimicry movement? You know, I kind of came for the idea, for the meme and stayed for the people. The people in biomimicry are such, there's a quality about them, many qualities, but joy mm. um, at having found one another, similar nature nerds and joy in nature. The fact that they can find deep joy in nature. There's a kindness and a, a gentleness, whip smart, absolutely smart, smart, smart people too. But really there's a gentle, gentle good humor yeah. that I see. And I mean, just after 25 years of groups that are attracted to this meme. So to join it, that's one of the things we did is just say, there's so much to do, just do, and we'll, we'll showcase it when, when, it, when you do it, but we don't, we trust you. Yes. We trust you to know how to do it. You, and, and if we can help you with tools and, you know, and ask nature and tell us, you know, we need this. Um, but we're, we are learning as much from you when you localize biomimicry in whatever profession you're in, you know, and whether you're an artist doing, doing nature inspired art or you're, you know, a chemist or you're bringing it into the automotive industry, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, you're going to know best how to do that, right? Wow. Or you bring it into social innovation, you, you're going to know and you come and tell us and we'll, we'll go, wow, nice. I like the part of the canvas you're painting out. Mm -hmm.